definitely like going to the store. I like online. You have to go through less work and then you just pay with your card. There's something about walking in a store and smelling the smells. The opinions are mixed. But the in-store consumers didn't save the Sears on Two Notch Road in Columbia. The store will close in early September alongside 72 other Sears locations nationwide. With stores comes malls close behind. A report by Credit Suisse says one in four malls will close in the next five years. And it's not hard to see why with companies like Amazon dominating the space. Amazon Prime can get you pretty much anything you can imagine to your doorstep in under two days. A process which will only get faster. The launching of Amazon Prime Air promises customers 13-minute delivery by drones. And there's even talk of self-driving vehicles. So how can traditional retailers compete? It's customer service. Dr. Deborah Brostel, senior professor in the retail school at the University of South Carolina, believes there will always be room in the market for retail stores. I think, you know, the combination um, of trying to please consumers and satisfy what it is they want, I think the brick and mortars are still going to be um, available. But what kind of retail stores are doing the best? The ones selling a brand, as well as their products. According to Fortune.com, the Apple Store has the highest earnings per square foot of real estate. The Apple Store isn't there to sell phones. They promote face-to-face -face contact with trained professionals, something that some retailers have perfected in their niche market as well. Sephora, for example. Whether it's to find a new eyeshadow or return the lip gloss shade that just didn't work, their trained staff help keep customers happy. And the company continues to stay on trend with YouTube bloggers and social media. So while Columbia might have to say goodbye to Sears, if stores can adapt, we won't have to say goodbye to our malls, too. For Carolina News, I'm Haley Ingram.